My name is Catherine. I'm a proud Goombenga woman from the Nambucca Valley. Where we are is so untouched. People often say, oh, it's boring or, you know, whatever, growing up here. But for us, it was so much fun. We're allowed to kind of roam free, if you want to say that, a little bit, kind of. We all stuck together, swam, surfed, camped, that kind of thing, partied a little bit. When I was at school, so at about 16, my parents actually split up and that's kind of where my schooling took a bit of a bad turn. I wasn't really attending school all that much, almost nearly didn't complete my HSE because of that. Um, just my mental health wasn't very good, but I think my determination was always to just work. I come from a really big family, so often providing for my family. Um, so that was my drive to just have a go working because that's all I knew. I think my resilience comes from my mum. She's had quite a hard upbringing. Never really worked, you know, growing up just from a lot of intergenerational trauma and things like that throughout her upbringing. But my resilience and willing to want to change that for my family um, because we do have such a big family for my brothers and sisters, for their babies, my cousins. That comes from her. Now that I'm managing the diversity and inclusion for a major infrastructure project in Sydney, so I guess working my way up in industry and having a go at things literally has brought me to the point as to where I am now. Didn't study, didn't do any of that. It was just literally experience, asking questions, learning from you know people that have been in industry or working for a really long time, and that's something that's always inspired me. Just think, if you have a go, you know you never, you can never fail. With that opportunity, was offered a job with a T1 construction company in Sydney and working on one of the biggest major infrastructure projects, managing diversity and inclusion. So helping people and that's all I wanted to do. If I can give any advice, open up, tell your story, talk to people because people out there want to help you and they want to see you do good, so. Family means everything to me. They are the reason why I do what I do. I'm an auntie to 28, nieces and nephews. I have four brothers, four sisters. One of my brothers passed away, sadly, um, about eight years ago and he's got three, three little babies who I you know, want to live for and support as much as I can now that he's gone. So my nieces and nephews and my little brother and sister as well, um, I just want to be able to show them that anything is possible. If you work hard, if you put your mind to things that you can do, do good. Inspiring Aboriginal people, youth, apprentices, trainees, women in trade. I think that's something I, you know, want to continue my journey on. I think it's so important. I think it's got a long way to go still. If I can do anything, it'd be, you know, talking to youth around the area, going back out into communities and providing opportunity that, you know, that I've had and inspiring, you know, people around our areas and local communities that, you know, anything is possible and that there is opportunity out there.